Hello, 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 amigas, and welcome to Amiga Handle Your Shit podcast. I have this beautiful soul in front of me. By the way, Happy New Year. This is my first interview of the year with someone other than myself. <laughs> and I'm so, so grateful to have here. And who am I talking about? I'm talking about the fabulous co founder of Luna Magic. Her name is Mabel Frias. And she will be here to talk to us about everything beauty. These、mm-hmm. girls are magical, truly, truly magical. They're game changers in the beauty industry. They've been、uh, shown in Shark Tank. And as a matter of fact, they received money, girls. Amigas, si se puede. I mean, I've never <laughs> met anyone who got money from Shark Tank. So I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, here's the thing, amigas. Mabel is a beautiful soul, and she's here to tell us more about her business and definitely her background. So, without me just、uh, expressing, because I can totally express how amazing this woman is, I'm going <laughs> to give the, the microphone over to my beautiful soul sister here, Mabel. Welcome, welcome to Amiga Handle Your Shit podcast, Mabel. Hola, Jacqueline. Thank you so much. So happy to be here. Obviously, the name when you. When we met,、um, I think it was last month, and you told me the name. I was like, Claro que si. I mean, handle your shit. That is the way, the ethos, the mantra to get through, you know, especially、yeah. when it's tough. Yes, yes. It's so, so wonderful. And I'm glad that you said yes. And we,、mm-hmm. made, it, we made it a point to, to connect with one another in this year. So I'm grateful to you. And so, Mabel, so before we get really knee deep in your business, I, what my amigas out there always want to know more about who is Mabel Frias and、uh, where are you from? Please let us know a little bit about your background. Yes, so Mabel Frias is the child of immigrant Dominican parents. You know, my parents and my family, I come from a lineage of, of female entrepreneurs, a small botanica healing store.、Um, Mi abuela was, you know, the driver or the, what I would call now in hindsight the sales and marketing engine. And my mother was her operations, quiet, but always paying attention to the details. And in many ways, my sister and I, Look at that, look at that as examples, and it's similar to how we kind of、uh, split responsibilities in the business today. But I say that to say because, you know, in, in our communities, you know, the immigrant story is a prevalent theme, and it's not it is something that I don't shy away from. It's something, in fact, that I'm proud of because the more that I come into awareness of what we've accomplished, it's, it's, it boggles my mind. Like, how dare we believe that we're worthy? Like, how dare we? Look at life and you know, handle our shit, if you will. So, I, I, you know, I'm just really, really excited to be entering this new year with that, that, that awareness and transferring that awareness to push boundaries even further than what I can see at this moment in time. Mabel is a mother, and I think that's a very important aspect of who I am. Mabel is a friend, Mabel is a confidant. Mabel is a, is a girl from the block. But sometimes, like Jennifer Lopez, I like to dress it up and twist it up. Mabel is multi layered. Mabel is also still learning. You know,、yeah. Mabel is still growing. As much as we've accomplished, I recognize that there's still a lot more to discover. And that's what keeps me really excited every day. That,、oh、that, that chasing that, you know, I can't、yeah. wait to see the highest version of what I will continue to evolve as we continue on this entrepreneurship journey. So, I'll be a part of that. Todavía falta y sigue y sigue、yes. adelante y para arriba, para arriba. Para arriba.、Oh, yes.、Mm-hmm. I love everything that you're saying here. You know, I, one of the things as Latinos, we get to learn how to push boundaries.、Mm-hmm. And boy, amiga, you definitely did when you <laughs> applied out of how many thousands of people to be on Shark Tank. 40,000. I know the data. 40,000 people applied for that season. Of that, like an eighth make it to even like talk to producers. Of that, 175 pitch of that half air. So think about the, this is where the magic comes in of timing, of being prepared. Of being highly favored, of having a story that the producers felt resonated with America.、Mm. 
you know, but the facts are 40,000 to air. I mean, I, you know, and I might even argue and say we're probably the first Afro Latinas team that pitched in the history yes. of that show. So it's also like creating history. There's so many, la- now, mira, me tamo Google. Oh, I think that... it's important to share yes. how it even happened. It was something simple. It, that, it was a Sunday night. And I was in my bed and I said, you know what? What is the fastest way for the world to know who we are? Hmm. Powerful, powerful okay. question. Powerful. Yeah, what is the fastest way for the world to know who we are? I Googled how to get on Shark Tank, literally on Google. I find the application online. I, people are, people think that I had these crazy connections. I said, no, I applied online. Two days later, the producers call us and they go, oh my God. And I, and I call my sister and said, tu no me lo vas a creer. I applied to Shark Tank. She was like, you're insane. I said, what? She's like, why would they get back to us? And I said, why not? I, I'm in constant proving my sister wrong energy mode. Always. I always have to convince her. And to 48 hours later, I said, there you go, mira. Here you go. And the rest is history, if you will, like paying attention to the questions and also being vulnerable with the producers to say, hey, we've never done this before. Ganándome la gente in every step of the way. Right, you know? right. It, it takes a team uh, on their side to make to validate that you have a real business. Yes, yes. And it's something that that we as Latinos tend to be scared and shy away. Like, oh my God, mm-hmm. that is like full on. Like, I mean, for someone like myself, looking on tv you think like wow they've gone through so much just to get there jesus i mean the due diligence alone they sent when when we made it they sent us this document file of like legal pnl and many my first time and i was like whoa what did we sign up for but you know what i know i'm really good and i know how to ask questions Yes. And if yes. you that's tip number one of handling your shit. Yeah. You got to not be afraid to speak up and how to ask questions. You know, I had a, a, prof, a professor in college. I was like, there's no such thing as a stupid question. Right. And when he said it, I took that. Thank God I internalized that and I took it like, wow, that's really good advice. It sounds so simple, but it's so right. meaningful. Right. You know, how right. to ask questions. How to ask questions. And, you know, when speaking of asking questions, one of the things that I teach in, in my course which is called the Amiga Way Academy one of the first prong is asking powerful questions because mm-hmm. the way you ask the question leads to successful clues and if you do not know how to you're not going to get to right and you just coming out of the gate saying like knowing and learning how to ask the questions that opened up your business mm-hmm. opened up to other avenues and ventures that are coming your way because you learned how to ask the right question Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wow and amiga you're highly favored because one of the beautiful things that you said is that is that you know you are how you doing i said blessed and highly favored that's That's how i know you're saying this to me you know you gotta be connected you gotta listen yes yes thank you for saying highly favored because i think we mm-hmm. second guess ourselves all the time all, all the, time. the time so how what do you do to get out of second guessing yourself you just say you know what me mi mamá mi mi familia lo hizo yo también puedo i believe that i deserve all the things that i work for i believe in my work ethic i spend i do a good job better now than ever of having the right people connected people in my personal space um i listened to my kid my kid was the one who said i think you need to be in cvs and i said that sounds like an interesting idea this is my 12 year old 11 year old then you know i i believe that like lessons can come from a lot of different places so where, where i need to learn is to just be more still that's what i'm working on but but lo que está para mí nadie me lo va a quitar. Is that yeah. simple? Even as things like people are like, I'm now starting to have a spiritual understanding of my 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 goals and my role in life. You know, I cannot look at a person and I see if they're okay, if they're not okay, if they believe in themselves, if they don't believe in themselves. So my job is to just be still. My job is a holder of a vision. 
right? That continues to evolve. And I've learned that as a leader, I have I have to keep working. If I can keep working on myself, my balance, my mental health, my physical, I can continue to articulate the vision of why we why we created this company and where we want to go and how we're going to bring people along with us. Yes, that to me is like a it's like a spiritual thing, not 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 religious, spiritual. Right, you have to be very in tune with yourself. If I Kamala Harris says something I eat nose for breakfast. You know, you got to learn how to take the nose with grace. Thank you so much. Nose usually be means redirection or it usually means not the right timing or not the right person. Right. Right. right I don't right. take anything personal to the best of my ability. And when I do take things personal, I seek counsel. Mm. You know, I talk to a lot of people and I say, "Hey, I'm going through this." surprisingly and i have to say this because in our communities latino communities we're very insular we're very family focused pero tenemos un tabú mm -hmm. no le diga nadie lo que está pasando yep. no le diga nadie you know vivimos por el que dirán yes que dirán right yeah. que si va a decir la vecina que si va a decir el vecino que si va a ser que si ta 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 bla right you have to learn that unless you open your mouth and unless you ask the world doesn't know that you need. The universe doesn't know how to help you. So it starts with your tongue. Yes. <gasps> Yo hablo todo con todo el mundo. Whoever wants to listen to me. I talk too much, in fact. I need to learn how to talk less. No, keep going. <laughs> but the world is here to help me. I believe. Yes. It. Oh my and God. I have to find people. And then I find people that help me get unstuck, that I trust that they're giving me the message that I need to hear in that moment in time when I am stuck. Mm. Oh, amiga, I love that. So the, what's yeah. the message now? Because I know you are the holder of a vision. So what's the message? It's because I know Luna Magic has these beautiful products. And mm -hmm. let's talk a little bit more about the product line, where, where you're holding this vision of this company. Because I think, uh, I know that you're up to great things. And I think it's important <laughs> for us here on Amiga Handle Your Shit to get a little, you know, a, 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 a little, little view of what's to come next. So please tell my us. My understanding of the vision is I have to acknowledge um, my sister, Saida, who mm -hmm. is the creator of the products. You know, she is a re she, she's a creator in that sense. But, you know, where I see this going is we create a product and it touches the mind of somebody that sees it on the shelf. Think about it. You're, I tried to put myself in the eyes of the customer. Like I walk through CVS and I see this glittery packaging and I see these beautiful girls and I see this brand that looks exciting. You know, our job is to continue to deliver that emotion to our customers. You know, aside from creating beautiful products, what we have come to understand with Luna Magic is that we as brand owners are a real life present day manifestation of the American dream in this country. You understand like that's right there oh we came from washington heights and we my mother i don't think she even had a high school education but she was a really darn amazing mother when she was you know available emotionally you know i think about my grandmother who with a second grade education brought seven people to become american citizens i, I thank my grandmother who's alive every day like Dios mio, abuela, the gift that you gave your vision of telling my mother have these children in the Amer in, in the united states of america obviously they didn't know what that meant they didn't know the simulation in school they didn't know the journey that that i've been on or that we've been on but that vision continues to grow and evolve right my grandmother had a vision that my mother took and made her version of it and now my generation we have our version of that and then alia my daughter will have her vision when it's her turn so i think it, it, I want to say that vision is evolving, but the highest manifestation of why we're here to exist at Luna Magic is to show that we're dreamers, that the American dream is alive and well, y todo con esfuerzo, trabajo y buena fe, es posible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, I, I actually decided, I'm like, I'm gonna go to CVS. And okay. I'm gonna, and I'm going to go look, <laughs> I'm going to go to check out Luna Magic. And I'm like, and you know, que orgullo. Because when I saw that, I was yeah. like, I, I know the founder. 
one of the founders. Yeah. I know her, and she's yes. going to be on my crazy? podcast. Isn't and that I'm crazy? Like, it's yeah, so crazy. But, and and it, it is, it is. And I'm thinking to myself, you know what? This is exactly how it happens when someone is highly favored. Well, the this is how it is. Favored. Yeah, the synchronicities are are so abundant you have no idea and Thank so you for reminding me because sometimes i forget i'm yeah. like it's not fast enough i want more happy though fast. you know like it's an addiction but um you're right thank you for you're giving me a present of awareness to remind me because sometimes like i said when you're in it in la yeah. sopa yeah no you could sometimes get lost in it definitely yes. but i yes. i want to really commend you because Thank when you. i saw it i was like Mira nomás estas chicas. Wow. It's crazy. It's crazy. And what people don't understand is the significance, right? Yes. We're not in CVS. We're next to L'Oreal and brand Maybelline and Revlon. I mean, brands that have been here for a hundred years. Forever. 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 Generations. 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 And we get to now put our version of what does Latinidad look like? What does Afro-Latinidad look like? What does... What does quality cosmetics that great makeup can come from women like us? It's insane. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm so proud of you guys because I mean, I, we, unfortunately, as Latinos, we tend to hide for those from those big ideas, these bold ideas, because we start to say, well, it's already been done. Like who's really gonna buy from us? It's already been done, but you were able to go into a market where no, it has not been done because you niched and you are very specific of who your target market is mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and unapologetically. And I Correct. also saw that on Shark Tank and I said, I see, yes, see, see, yes. because here's the thing that I thought I was like, you know what? They're tech, they're out the gate. They're like, es bueno, bueno, bueno bonito bueno, y, bar y barato. All the things that are important to Latinos. Exactly. And it's funny because when I was creating, I wrote the pitch, right? And uh, I told my sister, I said, hmm, we have to let people know off the bat que somos Latinas. Mm -hmm. Pero también, that, you know, what are the things that we care about? That's why we started the pitch with, hola tiburones, hi sharks. Yes. It was the first thing to say, hola mundo, hey everyone. So more Latinas, we're proud of it. High sharks. And then what are the three things we care about um, in our shopping behavior? Uh, my mother used to say, Tiene que ser bueno, bonito y barato. Andale. That's wow. it. My and mother, I saw her make purchasing decisions. I saw her touching things. I saw her price comparison. Ah, no, esta buena calidad, no, you know? So yeah. taking a lot of those like uh, shopping behavior values that I saw how women in my family made financial decisions or, you know, decisions around buying groceries in the home or my mom would be like three bodegueros three bo you know in new york city and i would go to this bodega she would go for this one for this this one for that that guy for this yeah. so there's always constant comparison but also like trust and relationships right with with a connection with who she was getting what from right. you know because that was super important and Correct. that allowed you to be where you're at today Correct. Because of those principles that were taught at an early age. Principles and values. I go back to saying that today. You know, I go back. I, you don't realize how you're making decisions based on values. But I yeah. finally, at 30, I'm 37, but at 36, I realized, whoa, these things of how I've lived my life, they're because they're values of him that have been ingrained in me. And what's fun now is to now name those values, give them the name and meaning, and then teaching my daughter those values. So that, yeah. you know. She can also take some of the, the magic, like you said, highly, yeah. highly favored sauce. Uh, yes, highly favored sauce. I love that. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, our kid, your, actually your kid is as old as my kid. My kid is 11. She'll be 12 mm -hmm. pretty soon. También una Latina, really beautiful soul. Just And and I know that when she looks at me, I, I can see things moving in, their, in her and brain. Yeah. Yes. yes. She's yeah. going to be the next one, the next generation to yes. take in that magic to that whole yes. another level. Yes. Wow. So, yes. Amiga, you know, I know we've been talking about all these beautiful things, but I know in life there's always the struggle and the and the um, 
the breakdown. And mm-hmm. you know, I I it, I would be remiss to to not ask you what can you say to us that has been a, a huge breakdown because amigas need to get it straight as well. You know, 100%. Not, not everything is beautiful, right? Not everything. What And ha- thank you what- for, for yeah. I think that what I've learned is you know, we're all human beings and usually the biggest breakdowns happen with breakdown of communication and understanding. Mm, yeah. Um, I think that you, as a human as a person you have to be very um aware when certain dynamics have reached their course. You have to be really aware of who you go to for information. Like I I learned early on for example that God bless my mother but there's certain areas of experiences that I was having that she couldn't support me not cuz she didn't want to is that she didn't know how to so I gave her grace for that and then found mentors who could support me on things that were unique to me so I would say is like not being afraid to speak up not being afraid you know mental health is such a big factor these days of just living life in America between being a parent and a business owner and trying to take care of yourself so just being aware of your mental health and taking that very seriously and it's kind of like you know when you're on a plane and they say before you put the mask on someone else put it on yourself right right i right. Have to remind myself of that because we come from a culture where we're givers in nuestra cultura las mujeres we Todo. take care of everybody yeah. and yeah. then ourselves I've had to learn that it actually needs to be the reverse. The reverse. If you don't take care of yourself first. You don't have energy, mindfulness, or space to do things with intention. Right, 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 right. You know, I think that it's something that I have gradually learned, and I and I love that you know that you're in your 30s. You said. Yes, 37. Okay, amiga. You, wow. If I could be you, I I mean I'm going to be 50. So I like, yeah, queen that's me. Oh my god. You not look that at all. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my god. You know, girl, I'm like I I do it all. But, you know, here's a, what I wanted to uh, say is that for a long time I put everybody else first. Yes. And then yes. really completely depleted me until a point where I was like, you burn Basta. out. You don't Basta. Mm-hmm. I can't. And it wasn't until I really started this journey of personal development. Mm-hmm. And I realized, holy mother of God. Like, uh, we've always been these protectors, these like, we'll do it, we'll do it. Yo lo hago, yo lo hago. And there was a point where in my life where I said, that's it, I can't do it anymore. Like my body broke down, literally broke down. I I have multiple sclerosis and it had to hit me really hard for me to wake Pay up. Pay attention and understand. Yeah. yeah. Because it's all it's all psychosomatic. Like what it is. you know, and so didn't know that until I really dug really deep and I'm so I congratulate you for knowing this at a young age. You know, not a lot. Allowing... But exactly and remember to what you're you're saying i had to break out physically in hives like literally i had to have a body diciéndome o te vas a sentar o te siento yes pick one yeah <laughs> yeah so to your kind of similar to you it had to have been a physical reaction for you to realize that your body needs rest that you know it's a, it's a what do they say it's not a sprint it's a marathon knowing how to ask for help Right? Lo más principal, lo más principal. Art. It's We're hard. not taught these things to say, no. you know, asking for help doesn't mean you're weak. It just means you need help. You need yeah. to... Which is the reverse of what we've been taught. Oh, if you need for help, se está cayendo, esa no, no, no sabe, you know, like, yeah. she's weak. Yeah, yeah. the judgment, the, judge, the judgments that come pouring in and that's, it's horrible. And we as a community should be supportive. Like if someone, like if... If would you allow a 11-year-old kid hungry mm-hmm. out there? No you wouldn't. Same yeah. way that the per, an adult think of that adult as that 11-year-old kid that is hungry. Mm-hmm. Because they were once a kid. So if we start to now analyze and and um you know treat people 
treat them as if they were, you know, they have the mindset of like, they're here to do good, not to do harm. Let's help and support one another. Instead Correct. of like, ella me lo va a quitar and I have to, you know, just yep. put, retract, retract and hold hostage, yep. Yep. whatever it is. So I feel that what you're doing is so beautiful and how you're helping the community. Tell us what is next for Luna Magic. You know, I think that for Luna Magic is, you know, evolution, meaning I think that the brand is going to evolve. Um, and I think everyone just needs to be ready for what that may look like. I don't even know, to be honest. Like, I, I have a vision, but what I've learned with entrepreneurship is I have to be flexible. Mm -hmm. So, but at my North Star, I see expansion. I see more products. I see us ascending as brand founders in the sense of sharing the vision and inspiring women on why we started the company and just being figureheads of what's possible. You know, being postal children for the American dream. I think it's important for our community to know that even though things are like, you know, the markets are chaotic or whatever, you know, we're still on track to achieve the plans of buying, being a first homeowner, you know, like sending my kid to, you know, those types, those are the American dreams. Like how do we leverage accessing wealth through entrepreneurship, not only to better our lives, but also better the community as well. Right, right. And you access, wow, by asking that bold question, how can I get there faster? And yes. voila, voila. Yes, I'm a preacher of speed. Speedy yeah. Gonzalez. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Wow. Ay, amiga, this is such a fabulous conversation. And, you know, you. I know I know that, you know, we, we need to part ways. But before we leave, I love if you could share like a tip or two on how an amiga can handle her shit. Because I know you've been telling us along the way, but specifically if you can give us some tips. Amiga, handle your shit by being honest and authentic. Um, speaking up for yourself. Como dice mi abuela, nunca para atrás ni para coger impulso. My grandmother is the queen of pasa eso. Llora dos días, next. Ella me dice a mí, Ay, los hombres son como the bus stop. If you miss that bus stop, ponte en el otro. She just has always, at 87 years old, this continuous uh, commitment towards movement. Yeah. You know? If, if it's in otra puerta, esta. No, nose for breakfast. And use nose as moments of reflection, pero más para adelante vive gente y son mejores vecinos. Oh, I love that. Oh my God. I, I would love to meet her. <laughs> you know, my grandmother, my mom's mom, she's the, the, the queen of vichos, of saints. And I love it. In our one culture, day, it's lo que sobra. Yeah. Woo. One day I'm going to like sit down with her. I'm going to be just and, like everything. For, I'm going to have her tell me todos los vichos because you never know, you know. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. We only have today. So that's funny. Look, Mira, to inspire you, these are the dichos. I had I went to see my grandmother this summer to reconnect and I had her say, like I have voice notes. I said, Abuela, dígame, dígame, dígame. And you know? I love you. Te quiero mucho. Que Dios te proteja siempre. Que siempre tenga los pies arriba de la tierra. Siempre tener los pies encima de la tierra. That's the Oh one. my God. Uh, it's a beautiful thing yeah i you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna do exactly what you did i'm yeah. gonna ask my grandmother and i'm gonna be recording all the beaches los cuentos you know and and that i that i have i have those because that's that's all you really stay with you yeah. understand it's memories and your history and it's a yes. beautiful it's an honor it is to listen to my 87 year old grandmother as a 37 year old woman with understanding and wisdom i'm looking at the world from a different place yeah yeah she gave you all the gifts she all gave the you gifts. The, all the gifts because she gifts she also see. was highly favored correct and there you go exactly With that Let wow see. our community is highly favored and we need to understand yes. and acknowledge it and yes. fu fully fully love it and embrace it and live it out yes Yes. Wow, Amiga. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much for being here Gracias on Amiga Handy. Shit. And I'm like, oh my God, muchas abrazos. 
Nada. abrazos y muchas bendiciones. Gracias. Muchas bendiciones. Gracias a todas. Gracias. Bye, Sandra. Handle your shit. Hell yeah. <laughs>
Thank you. 